why I hate Base Clan and how they got in bed in 2020. Base Clan has been a gamer's dream clan since the early Black Ops days, and they're still dominating when it comes to their pro players and views. But they really changed since their OG days. In this video, I will explain why they're not as entertaining to me anymore. So basically, when they started trick in 2012 to 2013, everyone went crazy over FaZe, and they eventually developed their OG team from trick -shotting. Not even how good you are at the game, since trick is basically luck and RNG. When the small group got bigger from trick they founded FaZe, the group that was consisting of Banks, Adapt, Nikon, Blaziken, Apex, Rain, K and Tico. All this was probably the best time for FaZe, simply because everyone was going crazy over how cool this new idea of trickshotting was. And I think it was also one of the first gaming orgs. By 2016, all of the members just randomly transitioned to vlogs. Now this was a huge step. And I did enjoy their videos anyways because their personalities were funny and their pranks were good. So why do I hate Vase Clan? Well, they came a long way since 2016. But I feel like ever since Fortnite came out, their whole brand just got worse. You see, everyone would get hyped over Apex or Banks or something for getting a new car or moving into a new house. But since the addition of Jarvis and High Sky, just to name a few members they added, they turned way more kid friendly and I believe all this was from like Fortnite. Yes, I think they're still funny, but I don't think they're what they used to be anymore. It looks like a good path they're heading by adding players and diversifying the biggest gaming org in history, but it really ruins the OG vlogs and games FaZe used to play. As an example, most people even know them a long time ago would probably watch this gold play button prank done by Rain rather than their latest uploads, for example all of these clickbait thumbnails and titles. Another sad thing about the OG phase can is that most of their YouTube channels are inconsistent. For example, Adapt and Rain post like once a month. A few months ago actually, I'm pretty sure the CEO or someone of higher power in phase actually kicked Phase Blades and Phase Rain out of the phase mansion. And that's so bizarre, because they can do that to basically the founders of FaZe. I will get into the management of FaZe later when I talk about Tifu and how the management screwed up in 2020. Some other FaZe member they added were FaZe Mongrel and FaZe Nickmerks, which were pretty good players, not gonna lie. But why add them if games like Fortnite are dying? FaZe is investing so much into it when they're probably not gonna get much out of it. Like who watches FaZe dubs or Mega anymore after the World Cup? This leads to my next big point, Tifu. The first few months after FaZe signed him, he was already blowing up. And I bet the managers and CEOs of FaZe were so happy that he signed for 3 years. All this went crazy after Tifu sues FaZe for having two strict contracts, which would allow FaZe to take a big chunk of money earned from streams and tournaments of Tifu. Now Tifu of course spoke out because he's huge and FaZe is probably taking millions of dollars away. But he signed in the first place though. So I think Tifu made a mistake. But this still made me view FaZe a different way. Less of this entertaining gaming company and more like a money making machine in 2020. All in all, FaZe has changed a lot over the 10 years it's been around. I think it just passed its 10 year anniversary just a few months ago. I hope the orgs start uploading together again, but at least most of them are together and still in the FaZe house, so that's good to see. I can see why kids still watch them. Now, most of the fans from 2016 probably don't follow them anymore because of the issues I just mentioned. This is what I hate. There are a lot of things I love about this org, but I just had to make this vid. If you want to learn more about gaming, or you just want to know more about games, subscribe. I post videos weekly, and you'll be missing out on a ton of things you might want to know about gaming. Thanks for watching, and let's have a discussion about this in the comments below.